And looking further, I began to find the real beauty in Cortez. John Jensen is no archaeologist. He says he's just an amateur researcher of what's under the water. But what he says he's observed from the sky could rewrite the history of the world. I recognize some patterns that appear to be man-made or at least non-natural. More than 60 sites in places like Louisiana, New Jersey, and Florida, what he calls ancient channels, canals, and harbors. A handful are from Tampa down to Fort Myers, including one in Inglewood, and this one around Cortez in Manatee County. Here's a horseshoe with a circle in the center of it and other lines around it that suggest that they're not natural. He says the sites are now about five feet under the H2O, saying there are underwater banks and edges, which indicate they were built before the sea level rise six to 7,000 years ago. That's the result of the process of digging above water is to dump the refuse on the bank beside it. They definitely were modifying their environment, and a canal system or a harbor system is not unthinkable at all. Jody Proct is the archaeologist for Sarasota County. She says our area has some of the oldest evidence of human inhabitants in all of North America, dating back more than 12,000 years. As far as Jensen's claims, she's not so sure. At the years that this gentleman is talking about and the level of uh, modification, uh, I don't, the science does not support that. At places like the Indian Mountain Park here in Inglewood, there is evidence that people lived here an awfully long time ago. However, Jensen says his evidence suggests it's much bigger than we ever thought. Probably were not made by some folks wearing leather buckskin breech cloths and baskets on their heads. Saying the widths of some of the underwater waterways are larger than the Panama Canal, something which would have required some serious innovation. Underwater sunken systems that require a technology to produce that is beyond or at least equivalent to what we have today. Jensen says he's uncovered some of the sites in just the past few months, perhaps something experts have yet to even see, let alone explain at least for now. The science is very conservative. There's probably a lot more going on out there than as a professional you would agree with out loud. Depth readings and core samples will absolutely rewrite everything that we know about history. Naturally occurring or man-made, how about from something not human at all? Jensen says he doesn't know, but perhaps the answers are just beyond the water's edge.